Greetings respected viewers welcome to Grip Trade family Sami here always remember that this video is for entertainment purposes and not a financial advice i'll be using exactly two rules that are associated with shocks and pressure for pick, for picking some trades that can be really helpful for you to learn and of course even trade that way i'll be applying one simple indicator just to have the support additional support actually let's see how we easily pick one or two trades that will help us to establish the exact um result of the rules that are needed to be complied so they have opted for my first trade with an amount of $290 and an expectation of 70% return out of it do remember that trading comprises of both losses and profits in case if this trade goes against me i have the cushion of picking another trade because if you are expecting returns in a matter of seconds of course it might happen that sometimes it go against you so that is never an issue you need not to get discouraged but you have to follow the exact guidelines that are needed to be used while you trade currently i am relying on shocks and pressure concept applied alongside a vortex indicator let's see how the both of them combine and give us a very clear and good reward currently the candle time i have opted for is 30 seconds i am using two certain rules of shocks and pressure before that let me tell you about shocks and pressure a bit shocks are the unusual fast and abrupt movements of the candle you see we have already made the reward actually so we have made anywhere around 203 dollars by putting in 290 only so shocks is the fast movement whenever you see the candles moving from one point to another and this happens rarely in the very volatile situations of the market that they move this way similarly pressure is the rhythmic slow movement of the candles from one place to another one point to another in the same time when the pressure is in the downward direction and there are no shocks existing you can opt for the sell trade if these vortex lines are very opposite to each other far away maximum far away from each other so you can opt for the sell trade because they will start coming near while well, they'll stay parallel but they they'll start coming near to each other similarly whenever the pressure exists in the buy candle the pre, the candles move in the upward direction with pressure in them no shocks exist in the market you can simply opt for the buy trade a higher trade a call option as well so this is how you have to manage the things keep them really simpler for yourself but again then one thing that you need to keep in mind is that you cannot depend or rely on one single strategy because different situations of the market force us to opt for different particular combination of indicators and strategies that can help us to make really clear or great returns you if you try to depend on one single strategy it might not work consistently for you in all the different situations and behaviors of the market so this is the most important time you need to keep in your mind this is the most important point you need to keep in your mind okay so there i should opt for a smaller trade now by scrolling through different pairs and see where i can have that just to learn the things clearly okay so i have opted for the sell trade again i saw the uh, pressure in the sell candle so i have opted for that but again then i do have the cushion of opting for multiple other trades uh, to recover my loss and make some profits as well in case the first trade goes against so that's something you need to keep in mind again the vortex lines were very opposite to each other far from each other and there was pressure existing in the candle so i opted for a sell trade but um, the market is very less volatile so it is standing at at the execution point i want it to be clearly defining point but um, this strategy suits a non volatile market a stable market relatively actually so i expect a reward of 1.4 dollars out of this particular trade that makes 70% of 2 dollars exactly and um, this is the last point um, last moments and there you go with the clear profit so this is how you have to manage the things keep them really simpler and of course 
you'll see particular rewards coming your way now you have to practice all these things a lot this will help you to enhance your experience and knowledge as well so this is the most important thing you need to keep in mind as well i guess these are the smaller things that you keep if you keep in mind and combine different strategies that are needed to be used at different parts of the day you can make really consistent and great rewards one more thing that you need to keep in mind is that you have to um apply all these different strategies you can always reach me out on the contact details mentioned in the video for having the updated information regarding as and whenever you need to use which particular strategies and combination of indicators because this will help you to enhance your experience and knowledge and of course practice the things with more confidence and motivation since you'll see returns coming your way so that is all for now you need to do subscribe the channel press the bell notification button and do stick along and watch out more of the stuff that i keep on guiding you with take a lot of care have a great time bye for now sami here from grip trade i hope you like the video in case if you have any sort of queries or you require any assistance or you have any concerns you are all welcome to reach me out on my contact details mentioned even in the video as well as at the end of the video